Hi guys and welcome back. I hope you're feeling well and you've had a good day. So today I thought I'd start a series on my channel and that's going to be Rag to Riches. So those of you that don't know what Rag to Riches is, it's a challenge where your sim starts off with absolutely nothing, they're not allowed any money, they're not allowed a job and they have no home. So basically they've just got to start from scratch. In order to win the challenge, the overall goal is to have a fully renovated house. So you need a bedroom, a kitchen and a bathroom and I guess a garden in order to win. Obviously there's a bunch of stuff your sims can do in order to make money without having a job, but of course that takes such a long time. But that's all the fun. So without further ado, let's get into the challenge. So this is Charlotte Pato. I just literally randomized it and I've given her a fabulously well fee for her aspiration. I've given her creative, a geek and straight edge for her traits. I just thought they would work perfectly well with her. And of course she needs this aspiration anyway for this challenge, I believe in order to succeed. So this is my sim. I think she's pretty cute. Again, I didn't give her much custom content on any of her outfits, although there might be a few in there because I couldn't help myself. Um, this, most of the stuff is base games. So this is the base game just because she's not gonna have too nice of an outfits. I mean, some bits she has nice outfits, but not everything. But obviously before she was homeless, she had nice clothes. So of course she still got her snazzy converses on. And I just thought this was really fitting the dungarees for every day, for her formal. Okay, so she definitely looks really good here, but I added converses to the formal as well, just to spice it up a little bit, cause she's still kind of young. And then, for sports, athletic, just her yoga gear. For sleep, this is the most casual one ever. <laughs> for party, again, a little bit spicy. I gave her heels for this one. I couldn't help myself, just in case. She does go to nice events, we never know. And then obviously for swimwear, she's looking pretty cool there. Then the last two, hot weather and cold weather. Okay, so that is Charlotte and she's all done. So I'm gonna pop her into a world. I'm not really sure what neighborhood I'm gonna choose for her, but we'll have to see. So I'm definitely gonna choose summer because I know that we're gonna be outside a lot for this challenge because she has nothing. So select a world to move in. My favorite is Willow Creek, I must admit. And uh, Newcrest is kind of tiny. Although this is a really cute neighborhood in itself and there's already a land there. So I'm just gonna pop her there and then obviously when we get to the lot, I'm gonna have to remove all her money and that's gonna be so sad, but that's how we're gonna start the challenge. So I'll see you there. So guys, we are here and this is her little plot of land quite close to the harbour actually really pleasant and she can go fishing as well it's quite private i mean there was a mixture between this land or this land um and i just thought it'd be quite nice because she's out in the way she's not out in the open you know she probably likes that better anyway the reason why charlotte is in fact homeless just simply because she ran away from home. I mean, she lived with her mum anyway because her dad and mum did previously break up and divorce and she didn't really see her dad much. I mean, he makes quite a lot of money. He's up in the city. He probably makes similar amount of money as the land grabs. But that's beside the point. That's her dad's money. Um, although she doesn't really speak to her dad that much. I mean, she doesn't tell him that she's run away. Although, you know, she has spoken to her mum recently. Charlotte has, but again, her mum's telling her to come back home but again she doesn't want to she's going to prove to her mom that she can make things happen on her own um she was quite miserable at home as well so she's a young adult so i think it's time for her to set out and come back but of course her mom's her mom does want her back but no we're just going to be homeless for now <laughs> we're gonna sh prove to our mom and our dads that we can make it big and hopefully make more money than her dad does so i need to get rid of the money now zero oh and there we go guys she is moneyless <laughs> but hopefully not for long so first things first of course all of her needs where she's just moved in are all good so we're just gonna go fishing i think we're gonna have a look around the neighborhood if we're not gonna get whacked by all these <laughs> trees so because she lives quite close to the harbor it's quite nice because there's quite a lot around here hopefully oh look there's a toilet as well so we don't have to rush to get a toilet of course we're allowed to use the grills but only if other sims are obviously cooking of it so at the moment we can't do that she's not hungry at the moment so that's okay um i think i'm gonna have her fish 
because that'll be good to get her fishing level up as well and she can sell the fish and when we actually get somewhere to grill it she can actually do that as well um i'm gonna see if there's any things that we can sell around here as well like any collectibles oh my god that lady walks like she shut herself oh mind you she's having a really good day look how happy she is <laughs> Oh, I've spotted one. So she can dig that one up. Oh, and some froggies. We can get some money out of that. I think you can make quite a lot of money out of collectibles anyway, if there is quite a lot around here. So she's just enjoying the view. I mean, look how incredible this is, having to live here. I mean, of course, it's going to get rough soon. <laughs> but so far, so good. It's quite social around here. I didn't realise there was quite a lot up here when I first moved in. Oh, there's a little boat. So we can travel to the lighthouse. That's quite cute. Maybe we'll do that after we've got some of the collectibles. Oh, she's caught something already. So she's just caught a, a goldfish. Okay. So we get seven simoleons for that. That's okay. So that's our first simoleons from a goldfish. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh no, the worst thing of all. Her period's coming soon. So I definitely need to get a lot of collectibles or sell a few things in order to get her some tampons and pads. Or if I'm allowed to, perhaps use the size of life to stop her menstrual cycle. We'll see. Oh, wow, 72 simoleons. Okay, I'm just going to sell it. I didn't even read what it is. It was some kind of crystal. So now we've got 79 simoleons and we've got a welcome wagon as well <laughs> but what am i going to welcome them into are they actually there he has cake so i'm going to invite him in justin come in justin and give me some of that cake no one's <gasps> is someone cooking oh my god guys someone has cooked what is that anyway it looks really weird franks and beans wow yes please and someone's rummaging through the bins mind you i'm i'm gonna probably do that in a minute Oh no, please don't eat it before I do. There's a cat eating it. We can still eat it, no? Oh, he's so cute. I mean, I might adopt a stray. I mean, I should have got her a cat to begin with. But I think in the end, that's our overall goal as well, to get a couple of cats. Because I've got a feeling she's going to be a crazy cat lady. Well, I hope so anyway. So I didn't think it'd be that busy around here. But actually, it's popping. It's literally, look, everyone's around. There's food here, which is quite naughty. <laughs> so she's all good at the moment we don't really need to go much else but i might travel i'm trying to think to see if i can find some more collectibles somewhere because i definitely need to get her not so much a toilet but definitely a shower possibly a bed okay a bed's probably more important than a shower so i thought if we go somewhere local perhaps let's go to a bar i thought i thought that was called salty paws or something yeah we'll go there have a little bit of bit of a socialize because her needs are all good at the moment see if there's any collectibles around and um, perhaps if there's a mirror there as well we can get our charisma up oh god it's like a heat wave isn't it what is this dude doing he's having a <laughs> are you okay i definitely want to be his friend let's make some friends oh oh i can dance with him let's dance oh and i forgot as well we can busk for money as well so that's why I want to get her on a guitar. Is there a guitar here? Or oh, I probably should have gone to like a nightclub or something. She's having so much fun right now. Oh, I've just found a bin. Oh, there's quite a few bins. Oh, I can't go to those ones. I'm just going to get her to rummage in here. People might see me do that. <laughs> but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do right now. Have a little bit of a rummage, see what we get. Oh, I've got something, I think. 20 simoleons for a postcard. Okay, I'm just going to sell that because we're not going to be needing that. Still got a frog as well. So, <gasps> What? An eggplant swell frog. I didn't even breed this one. 100 simoleons. Whoa, big money, big money. So we've got 199 simoleons so far. I'm, I'm really impressed and we've literally just got here <laughs> so we might be able to afford a bed but that's okay if we can't afford a bed because i guess there is benches and stuff around here for her to sleep on worst comes to worst but hopefully tonight she won't need to i think i'm going to travel somewhere else and i think i'm going to take her to the library because at the library um i'm not going to take anyone with me at the library we can perhaps we can write there as well there's a few things i can do and also we can order some tampons and pads as well so that's good so that's a couple of errands that we need to do so once she's finished doing playing with this 
Justin guy, we can head there. So we are in Willow Creek and we're going to go to the library there and see what's popping. I'm so thirsty today. Literally, I've been like trying to drink at least like two of these a day. I mean, it's only 750 mil, but it's good to drink it up. Don't get dehydrated, guys. Don't get dehydrated. Okay, so I moved her indoors because she was getting really cold and she's getting really stinky. <laughs> so afterwards, I am going to get her to order some tampons and pads because we don't want our sims stinking. We don't want a bad reputation. So I think I'll get her two for now. There's quite a lot. Oh, wicked birth control pills. A uh, box of 28 birth use every day and don't worry about unwanted pregnancy. Oh, all birth control makes more sense, right? I'll buy her some tampons and pads just in case. <gasps> that is a lot of money though. What do I do, guys? I mean, technically, I'll just get some tampons and pads for now because we're not going to be having any woohoo at the moment. <laughs> so, oh, I just remember they're not going to come here until tomorrow. So she's going to be a little bit stinky for now, but that's okay. She can just carry on writing her book. And why is he wearing a veil? Is he getting married? <laughs> He's a very snazzy sim, definitely. So I remember in Sims 2, I used to always do this if my hygiene was low and I was at a community lot. I used to just click this and get her to wash her hands and then her hygiene used to go up so much. Oh no, she's going to need to sleep soon and we still can't afford a 10. This is a symptom from Charlotte's menstrual cycle. She's moody and she has a big appetite. I mean, aren't we all when we're on our periods? <laughs> yes, and her hygiene is going up. Definitely a good hack to have. We don't need a shower just yet. So she's hungry. I don't think I'm just before we get any more food. I'm just going to search around and see if there is any more collectibles. Oh, there is. Look for a frog. I've seen so many around here. I can breed those together. I can get that. Oh my gosh, it's like Frog City around here. Big money, big money. Lots of collectibles. And when still no one's cooking on the grill, and that's really annoying. No, oh, she's too uncomfortable to collect any collectibles. <gasps> well, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to nap here then. Oh, here you go, here's a bench here. Oh, this is so dramatic. I mean, look, at least she's got a nice outfit on though. <laughs> but I'm just gonna let her nap for a little while and then we'll grab those collectibles and then I guess we'll get her something to eat and see how much money we have after those collectibles as well because we might actually have enough to get a bed maybe or whatever's essential next. One eternity later. So she definitely feels like a new woman because we just paid five simoleons for her to change her tampon, I mean. It would be cruel if I didn't. So there's those are collectibles around here. So I'm just gonna have her search around really. Um, we've got 149 simoleons and there's quite a few plants that we can harvest as well. And then we can plant those at home. That would be good to make money that way. Um, if she finds anything funky, I guess we can sell it at a yard sale, but that would be once we've actually got her a toilet and everything else first. And we can breed these frogs as well. That's so good. I feel really bad breeding frogs. I'd never do this in real life. But in The Sims, I do. <laughs> so we will... So we've got one frog here. Oh, look, we got some bluebells. We've got some crystal. Oh, that's 36 simoleons. That's not bad. Okay, so we are back at the lot now. And I had her collect so many collectible guys. Look at all of these. There's so much. We've got things to plant as well. So that's good. So I'm just going to see... Oh... I was hoping that my tampons and pads would be here by now because, I mean, look, she soaked through her pads again, so she's really uncomfortable and she's got a, quite a few cramping, so it'd be really good just to actually get her something for that. So, we're going to set up base now. So, I'm not really sure where I'm going to plant some things. I'm going to... So, we've got a bluebell plant. We'll, do, we'll pop a few here. I don't think you make a lot of money from these, but I mean, it's better than nothing. We've got a few of them. It was the only thing at the moment that I could find. Oh, a lily. Can you plant lilies? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to sell these lilies. Oh, 432 simoleon for lilies. Oh my God, that's great. And a capture. I don't really care about that. We're going to sell that. 70. Guys, we've got so much stuff. I'm going to breed the eggplant frog with this frog. And then I'm going to sell it. 60 Timoleons. Oh, I'm going to breed this one. 10 Simoleons. Wow, guys. We are doing good. She's got a fish here. 
But she can't eat it because we don't have a... <gasps> 24 simoleons. 72 simoleons. Something else. Oh my god, guys, we've got 903 simoleons from all of these collectibles. She is going to sleep tonight. So, let's treat her. Let's get her a bed, first of all. We need a bed. So, I think I'm going to go into camping and get her a tent. Because it might be cheaper. Although, we can't actually get a bed. I don't know what's cheaper. Just literally the cheapest bed. Oh, okay. There we go. A little bed there. Got her a little campfire. Oh my god, that's a lot of money already gone, isn't it? Um, a shower was the main thing that she did need because that was a bit of a pain because there's a toilet around the corner. So, can we afford a shower? Oh, no. Oh, what's more important? Probably a bed. <laughs> we'll keep the bed for now. So, we definitely need to make some more money just to get a shower. That would definitely be on my list for her. But at least she can sleep well tonight. So let's light that. Actually, I better move the bed away. <laughs> don't really want her to catch on fire. I would, I prefer to get her at more of a tent, to be honest, because I guess she has shelter with that. So actually, I probably should have got her a tent. That would have been better. So we can roast. Oh, we can't do that because that costs money. What is she doing already? She's doing it anyway. She's so naughty. How much was that? Did that even cost me anything? Or is it free to roast marshmallows? She looks pretty happy right now. She's just enjoying her life. I think she just had a marshmallow that was too hot for her. Have we watered these? Excuse me, you need to finish planting this. We need some money. Just getting her finished. She's doing last minute planting. And then I'll have her head to bed. I wonder what the strategy is going to be like tomorrow. We will see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that one here and I'll see you in the next series and hopefully we'll have a little bit more money. I've got a few ideas that I'm going to do for her just to bulk her up a little bit, just to get her a shower maybe and some shelter. But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!